I'm Mike from St. Thomas Economic Development, here with another little update from the St. Thomas Megasite. This week we want to talk electricity generation in Ontario. This is a charged topic. Building batteries and electric cars is great, but the electricity to charge them is a critical factor in transitioning to green transportation technology. We should be proud of our electricity generation in Ontario. Our electricity comes from 90% non-carbon emitting sources, which was a big factor in PowerCo and Stellantis choosing Ontario for their battery manufacturing facilities. Electricity generation is divided into three categories based on the controllability and variability of electricity produced. Baseload generation, the first type, provides a consistent supply of electricity 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In Ontario's grid, baseload generation is made up of nuclear and run-of-the-river generation plants. In particular, the Ontario electricity grid relies on nuclear generation to provide the majority of baseload power. The second type is intermediate and peaking generation. These are more flexible sources of electricity which can increase or decrease output as needed to respond to demand. In Ontario, this category of generation is provided by hydroelectric dams and natural gas generation plants. The last category is variable generation. These are sources of electricity that are based on uncontrollable factors. In Ontario, this means wind and solar electricity. These are controllable sources of electricity when they're operating close to their maximum output, but when it's not sunny or windy, intermediate and peaking generation is required to fill the gap. In 2022, total electricity output in Ontario was about 147 terawatt hours in total, with the breakdown as follows. Nuclear, 78.8 terawatt hours, or 53.7%. Hydroelectric, 38 terawatt hours, or 25.9%. Gas or oil, 15.2 terawatt hours, or 10.4%. Wind, 13.8 terawatt hours, or 9.4%. Solar, 0.75 terawatt hours, or less than 1%. And biofuel, 0.3 terawatt hours, or less than 1%. Wind generation in particular has grown as a percentage of generation in the province in the past decade, with natural gas and crude oil generation dropping to about a third of 2010 levels. It will take huge effort and investment in coming decades to meet our power generation needs, but Ontario is on excellent footing to make this happen. Do you think we can do it? Let us know what you think, and we can dig deeper into this topic in the future. That's our update for today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe on YouTube to keep seeing updates from the Beehive. See you next week.